How's it going everyone? My name is Lukio, in case you've forgotten, I know it's been a while. But today we are back in London, back on OMSI 2 for the London variant of the Enviro 200 MMC which has now been released and can be downloaded from Fellows Film. The link will be in the description as always. And I had a short test drive yesterday and this bus is very, very fun to drive. And it's great to have another choice of single decker bus to use on London maps. So great work by JR21 and everyone else who made it happen. I think quite a few people were involved. But yeah, they've done a very good job and today we shall be driving it. Right, so today I will be driving Route 322 and actually the first time that I've done this route on the channel. I've never done it before. Um, I have skipped the blinds ahead, but it seems nobody wants to board at the first stop. So let's continue to Three, two, See you in two, a second. Two, Crystal Palace. Slight surprise for you all, because we are actually going to continue to Atlantic Road. So the diversion is finally over. Totally did not skip that red light there. Brixton Station, a light here for National Rail and local bus services. You will have to bear with me today, by the way. I've got a sore throat, so if I go quiet, it's because I've muted myself to go and cough. Or at least I've coughed and then I've edited it out afterwards. <laughs> um, as I was about to say, so the reason that I've never done the 322 is because I didn't like the diversion. It was really long, and so I decided I wanted to do it today, and so I have opened up Atlantic Road. The roadworks that were here are now gone, and we can drive down here as normal. And it looks like we will at least have a few passengers. I am driving a Sunday morning service, so shouldn't really be surprised that there aren't too many people. And the other thing you've probably noticed by now is that I am driving the wrong operator on this route. I believe the 322 is actually a Bellio, but there's no repaint at the moment, so... I've temporarily converted the route to Arriva London, since I think Arriva is one of my favourite in terms of their interior. Alright, we finally have our first passengers. Beginning to think everyone was just scared to get on my bus after watching my videos, but here we go. We've got five passengers or victims. Don't really know what to call them at this stage. Three, two, two. two Someone had to sit Crystal on my Palace. camera. It's very nice. So I haven't actually rerouted the other direction. So they, so going College towards Road. Brixton, uh, 322s still go along the diversion. Can't even remember the road name now. Was it Gresham Road that they go down to begin with instead of Atlantic Road, which is this road? Is that a really thin building or is the back of the building just missing? I think the back of the building is missing. Oh, nearly turned into me. Must be driving with his eyes closed. A lot of the roads on this route are quite narrow. I don't have collisions on, but it's still nice to try to you be must somewhat touch realistic. You with your Oyster or contactless payment card as soon as you board. I say that now, but I'll probably crash into a load of cars at some point. What I haven't checked actually is how are we doing for time? We are right on time. Okay. That's really good. See if we can keep that up. I doubt it, to be honest. Three, two, two. Two, Crystal Palace. Hopefully nothing comes down that way. Okay, cool. I suppose that's the other benefit of choosing to drive on a Sunday morning. Parade. Is that the roads are nice and quiet too. What I do need to watch out for is the fact that I actually have no idea where I am. 
I don't want to you miss a turn. You must touch in with your so. Oyster or contactless payment card as soon as you board. You'll begin to see that that message plays quite often. I don't really know why. If that car waits for me, that would be great. Or not. It's just about... I know this timetable is tight. I would like to stay on time. Three, two, so, two, two, Crystal Palace. So one thing you might have noticed is that I tend not to drive with route arrows on. I prefer to have a map up on my iPad instead Regent and follow Road. that. So what I've actually done is I've got the three two two map on City Mapper open on my iPad, and so I'm following that instead, just to give Omzi a cleaner look without the route arrows. And yeah, I did test drive this route yesterday, so I kind of know you it at least. You must touch in with your Oyster or contactless payment card as soon as you board. There's our favourite message again. Not sure why it's getting a little bit laggy right now. So I haven't actually driven the Enviro 200 MMC for some time, so I can't Three, quite. Two, two. Two. Crystal Palace. So I can't quite work out Burn whether. Hill Station. Sorry, every time I speak, there's an announcement. <laughs> so I can't quite work out whether it drives the same or not because it's been a while, but it's driving really nicely. I'm not sure if they've improved it, but yeah, I'm really liking it. The only one downside because of me driving with keyboard is that the steering wheel is a bit slow to return to centre. So I have to be careful when I am turning, but you must touch in with your I think I've got used to it, so it's actually alright. As soon as you board. Alright, we got through that perfectly. Now let's try to not hit this car. Alright, we're, we're good. Right, so I know where I am now. I believe this is Hearn Hill. I always get Hearn Hill and Tulse Hill mixed up. I'm not from South London. Only ever been to South London once. But yeah, so this is Hearn Hill, the terminus of the 201. Finally got the repaint working, the Abellio one. Fixed that before this video. Somebody has become one with the pole. I'm liking this, the camera turn, the, um, I can't remember what it's called, it's like the centre of, I want to say centre of gravity, but it's really not, it's like the central Three, two, two. position two. of the driver has been Crystal set Palace. so that the camera kind of, it's more realistic, like what it would look like if you were looking to your left. Um, now I'm going to miss my turn because I spent so long looking at the camera, speed up, speed up. Now we're fine. We've got it. But yeah, I really like Brooklyn the camera Park. positions. We've finally got quite a lot of passengers, actually. Hopefully we don't run out of space. And we are actually almost a minute early. Ah, oh, that's really good. Can't remember the last time I was running early. Three, two, 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 Crystal Palace. Um, it's yeah. I'm not going to bother waiting. It's only it's less than a minute. It's fine. I'm sure we'll end up losing time very soon. Rosendale Road. Why is that bus stopped on? Oh, great. Do we have a do we have a road accident here? 
if we do, I may just, I think I'll just drive around this. As I was saying, we'll lose some time soon. I mean, they haven't really hit each other. It's a shame that OMSI AI is not very smart at all and will not be able to drive it around. Oh, now it's moving. Never mind. Should I let him go? If that's ha oh, I knew that would happen. Okay, hurry up. You must touch in with your Oyster or contactless payment card as soon as you board. That was weird because I did not see a bump in the road. I'm liking that they've added the passenger voices as well. That's good. I don't think there's anyone else at this bus stop. can stop for a sec, let these cars go past, since they won't let me go anyway. And I should check the map and check where we need to turn off. So, oh, so we're pretty much driving straight all the way down through Hearn Hills, at uh, Tollsill Station. Three, two, two. And almost two. to Crystal Norwood Palace. bus garage. Okay, I know where to turn off, that's fine. I believe we have two closed bus stops that I need to remember to play announcements for. I usually always forget. Brockwell Park Gardens. Is that bus now stopped there for time and holding us up? Don't want to block the zebra crossing, but they never get used in Omsi London, unfortunately. This bus. I really want to do a video of the Evo City soon. Or Evo City. It's been a while since I did one, and there is a fix uploaded to Fellows Film um, just the other day that fixes the indicator issue and also the headlights issue because I tried to do a run on the N3 before and then realised that the headlights don't even light anything up so I couldn't do it but now that that's fixed I might do an Evo City video and I might do an Evo City video of the N3 soon. Now this is a problem because the bus is holding us up and I can't really overtake 10 cars so I kind of just have to wait which is really annoying he can't be running that early right he was stuck in that box junction for ages shame that I can't quite see his timetable that would be good come on any any second now he'll move let's check what the time is 07 great does that mean he won't move till 02 Come on, hurry up. I might just have to skip skip this. Okay, we're currently 30 seconds late. Let's do a transition and see how late this bus makes us. So it's been almost two minutes and the bus has still not moved, but some of the cars have disappeared because they've been waiting so long that they've despawned. You must touch in with your Oyster or contactless payment card as soon as you board. I don't want to block the road, but I just want a better view of the bus. I was doing so well, running early for once, and then the stupid 68 had to destroy that. I'm beginning to think that this bus is broken because <laughs> right, surely there's no way it could have been that early. But then also this isn't really a bus stop where they should be waiting to time. 
Uh, we've now got a 468 behind us as well. Alright, I'm going to overtake as soon as these two cars come past. Or three cars. Alright, that car's stuck. Good. Alright, let's go quickly. So, as I was talking about, the steering wheel is slow to return to centre. God, that's painful. If it moves now, I'll be so annoyed. Oh, great, someone really wants to now use this bus stop. Brilliant. Alright, go on, get off. Hope you're not going to the 68 because you probably won't be moving for a while. Now I'm stuck behind this Range Rover. Three, two, two. There is two. no reverse Crystal camera, Palace. so reversing is fun. Oh, the steering wheel is so slow. It's the one problem driving this bus with keyboard. Are you, are you really going to almost drive into me? Right, we are through. We've lost four minutes. The bus still not moved. It must be broken. I don't understand. Because the 68 timetable is really tight, so there's no way that it just gained four minutes from that one stop. It must be broken somehow. Deronda Road. Maybe that fix that I installed has broken it for AI use? Maybe. Hopefully not. Hopefully that's just a one-off. Great, now we're freezing. Alright, that's... You must touch in with your Oyster or contactless payment card as soon as you board. Alright, well that's really annoying that we are now four minutes late. It was all going so well. Usually I would like literally restart the video at that point, but I do not have time to do that, so. I thought that wasn't Evo Sessi overtaking me then. Three, two, two. Two, Crystal Palace. Imagine, I would have been so annoyed. Right, let's pretend none of that happened. Fellow Park Road. You must touch in with your Oyster or contactless payment card as now, soon as you board. This is the one where I think the next stop is Tolstil Station, which is closed. So, uh, next stop close. There it is. There we go. I remembered just about. Great, that traffic light's green, which is really annoying because it doesn't stay green for long, and then it stays red for ages. So we will literally be sitting here for about two minutes now. Let's go and have a look around. It's a shame actually that I can't go... Oh, really? Now you decide to move? That's hilarious. Look at him, he looks so smug. He was definitely just sabotaging my video, wasn't he? Like, I haven't done a video in two months. You couldn't just let me have a nice video where nothing goes wrong. Fellow 322, not many people going to Brixton. Right, hopefully we are next to go green. I'm ready. Green, 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 green. 
at last, let's go. Gained about two minutes of delay there, as predicted. Tulse Hill Station. And there are roadworks ahead, so this should be fun. You must touch no. what bus do we have Elm ahead? Road. Hopefully this one isn't going to try hold me up as well. So I think, I'm pretty sure, the next bus stop is closed, so let's play our announcement again. Don't overtake me. Now he might get through the lights and I won't, which would be really annoying. Okay, at least it's an Arriva driver in front. That means we you are must friends. Touch in with your Lancaster Avenue. The problem with these lights is that now that that one that road is red, this road takes quite a while to go green. And then the same happens between each one. I had a look in the OMSI editor yesterday to try and change the way the traffic lights work and perhaps change the timings, but I could not work out how to do it. So I don't actually know if it's even possible. If anyone's done it before and you know how, please let me know. Because I'd love to change lights like this one, for example just to make the main road flow a bit more quickly. Same as the one, the traffic, uh, same as the roadworks near Brixton station as well. They have the same kind of problem. I don't know why, oh, great. Taxi's waiting for the guy to cross for some reason, I think. Just hoping he doesn't now block the road, this bus. Wait, where's? Where's my bus? Oh, I'm here. Okay, couldn't see myself. I've got a 432 and, and of course, the 68, the one and only Sabotager. Right, let's go. You must touch in with your Oyster or contactless payment card as soon as you board. Okay, yeah. As I thought, this bus stop is closed. Get in your lane, mate. Let's go before that bus pulls out. Rotten 68. Road, Norwood Road. Don't like 68s anymore. No, we are stopping. You don't have to stop. I think you're past the lights. It's really weird, actually. Has he actually stopped at this red light? Maybe he's dropping someone off. Is he going to move? Yep. Cool. So this is our turning. So we actually don't stop here, but we turn left and then we stop. I really want to make it we made it. Right now, can I make this turning? You must touch in with your Oyster or contactless payment card as yes, soon I as can. you board. I thought she was about to walk in front of me, which would have been fun. Ugh, the steering wheel's just a bit slow to go back to centre. That's why I have to kind of stop for a second. Right, how are we doing? We are still five minutes late. Brilliant. Not too far from Crystal Palace now though, about 10 stops to go. Actually, we've got the whole 
park and ride section, which isn't Three, two, really two, a park and ride section two, in Omsi, Crystal Palace. I think there are many tight roads, which would be fun. It's like, um, what's that map that I never Rob's did? Road. There's an Omsi map that has like extremely tight, challenging roads. I can't remember the name of it, and I kept meaning to do a video of it. I'll have to do a video of it soon. With commentary. It's just, it's so much harder to do a video with commentary, because I need silence, firstly. Which isn't easy. You must touch in with your Oyster or contactless payment card as soon as you board. That message plays way too often. But yes, and then I, it also takes a lot more time to edit. I can't remember the name of that map. Omsi challenging. I'm trying to Google it whilst driving. Do not try this at home. 322 to two. Crystal Palace. Just realised that I have no idea where I'm going. So I should probably go back to my map. Martel Road, hail and ride section after this stop. Don't think I can quite fit through that gap. So we will wait. It's going to make us a bit later, but oh well. Great, suddenly loads of cars coming. Just what we want. She looks like quite a wide gap, to be fair. You can see why I chose an 8.9 meter bus. With your Oyster or contactless payment card as soon as you board. Our bus must be quite full, actually. Oh god, yeah, very full. Oh, there we go. Yeah, in fact, it's now completely full, and not everyone got on. <laughs> I'm glad that bus is there because now Three, I know two, two. where to turn. Two. So I was a Palace. bit lost, to be honest. Hail and ride, Rosendale Road. Though, is that actually my turning? I'm going to have to check. It is my turning, yes. For some reason, I feel you like... You must touch in with your Oyster or contactless payment card as soon as you board. God, that announcement is annoying. Okay, I know where I am, I think. I need to watch out, actually. I don't know if I've just missed hey, the bus stop. Right. <laughs> that wasn't really looking. Hopefully not. Because these hail and ride bus stops, they're really small ones. Touch in with your Oyster or contactless payment card as soon as you board. Pretty sure I'm going the right way. And then a left. Turning? No. Right turning. Wait, no. I'm 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 lost. Left turning. Oh no, it is left turning. Yeah, it's here. I'm really paranoid that I've missed a bus stop. I feel like I'm going to go back and watch myself drive right past it. Right, here's one. Luckily for this guy, we have people getting off so he can fit on the bus. Oh, we've actually... We're not 
quite as late as we were, which is a surprise. Right, coming up is Three, two, a very two, annoying two, junction. Two. Crystal Palace. Hayland Ride, St. Gothard Road. I hope I'm going the right way. I'm guessing at this point because... Okay, yeah, this looks like the right way. We got this. Uh, yeah, don't... He's gonna get stuck. Oh, he's not. Okay, good. Oh, he did pretty much just crash into me. But that wasn't my fault. You must touch in with your oyster or contactless payment card as soon as you board. Right, this is the junction. This is the bit that gets quite stuck. Oh, looks like a hail and ride passenger wants to get on. Lucky because if there was no one getting on, I wouldn't have known to stop there. So these people would have been waiting a while to get off. Right, let's try to get across here as quickly as possible. There's actually no queue right now, which Three, is great. Two, two. two, Crystal Palace. Okay, this was not too bad actually. I, in my test drive that I did of this route, I got stuck here for at least five minutes. Saint Gothard Road, Hale and Ride section ends here. Now I think this is a left turn. Yes, it is. It was just oh god. <laughs> Why? See, I thought he wanted to get on the bus, but it's like he saw I was the driver and then decided to run away. Well, you're lost. Next bus is a whole eight minutes away. Not too bad actually. So it must be every Three, two, two. fifteen two. minutes. Crystal Palace. Have to wait here for a sec. Oaks Avenue. I lowered the traffic slightly as well. Usually I have it on one hundred and ten percent. I think I lowered it to eighty percent purely because of these roads where I literally get stuck if there are too many cars. Come on, yes. I think that is the end of all of these tight roads. Which is good. So as you I kind of mentioned, touch in with your oyster or contactless payment card as soon as you board. That announcement is really annoying. Literally every time I try to speak, it decides to interrupt me. I was about to say, so I kind of mentioned how I've not really posted a video in about two months, probably nearly three. Um, usually I say, oh, I'll get better, but I feel like every time I say that, I then wait another few months before uploading another video. But this time, Three, two, I will two, definitely try two, to be different. Crystal Palace. So I go not getting off. Um, I've got quite a few things, so there are quite a few things to record. My next video will be a video of the Electro Liner, um, not the real one, which I'm guessing that Master Gypsy Switch Hill. Studios may Gypsy be working Road. on. But there's a mod that you might have seen, which converts the HEV variant of the Gemini 3 into an Electro Liner which is quite fun to drive. So I will do a video of that pretty soon. I have just missed my turning, so I'm gonna have to go round the roundabout. Oh, this is why talking driving is a bit difficult. I'm sure you my passengers won't notice. Your oyster or contactless payment card as soon as you board. This is where I was supposed to turn off. Now it's a bit of a tight turn. Oh, I did not see that car coming. Okay, 
not too bad. Ugh. Quick, quick, quick. Got places to be. Alright, let's try to not mount the curb. Okay, good. We got this. Oops, did not mean to pause. Let's go external. There are a lot of people here. Quite a few people got off, so yeah, looks like hopefully they can all fit on the bus. Why do these cars think that you're supposed to drive on the lines? Are they going to get on? I think they will. Three, yeah, two, it looks like we've got laser space. Two, Crystal Palace. But yeah, so next video will be Electroliner on route don't know I think route 45 I might do from Elephant and Castle to Clapham Park I quite like the 45 and I've only ever done it once I think and I did it in the other direction from Clapham Park to Elephant and Castle so I'll do it in the other direction this time and then on top of that there are some exciting things coming out pretty soon can't say what but hopefully some videos some very exciting videos this month uh, maybe I should have waited wait for me wait for me thank you I was quite lucky that when I missed my turn there was a big roundabout there for me to turn around I should probably keep an eye on the map, make sure I don't miss another turning. I believe this you must is touch in with your oyster or contactless payment card as soon as you board. Pretty much a straight run. Okay, there is a left turn that I need to make sure I make. It is after Highland Road. Left turn at the main road. Okay, cool. And then I can't really get lost because I'll see Crystal Palace then. We're six minutes late. It's not that bad. We have that 68 driver who decided to sabotage us. Three, two, two. Two. Crystal Palace. And did then take a wrong turning, which probably lost another Gypsy minute Hill as well. Station. All in all, not too bad. I have actually really enjoyed this route now. I didn't like that diversion, as I was saying, that went down Gresham Road and then all the way around before going back to Atlantic Road eventually. Hence I got rid of the roadworks. Now I think the route is a lot nicer to drive. Is there no other bus here? Is it just the 322 that comes up here? 322. Two. Crystal Palace. And yeah, I'm loving this bus as well. You must touch in with your Oyster or contactless payment card as soon as you board. It uses the same blind system as Add-on London, which is great. So all the blinds are just combined. So all the blinds that you've already got for Add-on London and the Hoff file will work for this bus as well. Which means that my Hoff file with curtailments will work. So. I'll put a download link to that in the description, actually, in case you don't already have that. It has working curtailments and gets rid of all the AI routes, which makes it a lot quicker to scroll to the route that you need. You must touch in with your Oyster or contactless payment card as soon as you board. Does that message play in that tells people to tap in as soon as they board? Was that not from the new route master because of the open boarding, the free door boarding that it used to have? Does that message actually play on other buses? Three, two, 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 Crystal Palace. Okay, 
Okay, this made the left turn very easy. Westo Hill. Or should I say very difficult to miss? Just about see the light. Why are those pound signs upside down? My image has just been flipped, is it? Looks like it. Alright, hopefully we are next to go green. We'll be arriving about seven minutes late, potentially. on lights maybe eight minutes late <laughs> all right finally make sure I'm going the right way pretty sure left is the only way you can turn here oh we are freezing a bit it's probably loading lots of AI buses at Crystal Palace bus station which is now just around the corner with only one more bus stop on the way. Oops, did not mean to put you my indicator on. You must touch in with your Oyster or contactless payment card as soon as you board. Okay, no, none of these passengers are lazy enough to board for the one stop around the corner. In fact, I think looks like everyone's getting off here actually. I'll still drive up to Crystal Palace bus station anyway. But Three, looks two, like two. we have got two. no passengers Crystal left. Palace. May need to change that in the editor actually. Because passengers can stay on to the next stop because we stop outside the bus station. Well, about seven minutes late, as I guess we would be. It was nice to finally do the free 2-2. It's very good. I see where the passengers decided to get off when they did. They could have walked around there a lot quicker than me driving around there. Ooh, was indicating the wrong way the whole time. That's great. Right, well, here we are at Crystal Palace bus station. You must touch in with your Oyster or contactless payment card as soon as you board. So that's our official set down stop where passengers could have stayed on till. I think it's fair to say we've arrived safely, even if not on time, but we can blame the 68 driver sabotage for that. If you're still here, drop sabotage in the comments below so I know you've stuck around till the end. I hope you have all enjoyed the drive as much as I have, please leave a thumbs up if you did as it really helps me out. As I mentioned, my next video will be of the Electroliner on Route 45. There won't be commentary on that one, so if you don't like my voice, you'll love the next video. And then I'm hoping my next video after that will be something pretty exciting, so I hope to see you there. Do subscribe if you aren't already, and on that note, until next time, I hope you have a good one.